Today, I'm going to talk about a very important thing, how we can tie insulin resistance to omega-3s. But first, I want you to understand a little bit about metabolic syndrome for those who do not understand this. Uh, metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions anywhere from heart disease to stroke to diabetes. And metabolic syndrome includes high blood pressure, obesity, uh, uh, high blood sugar, diabetes, excessive body fat, particularly around the waist, which we call visceral fat, as well as abnormal cholesterol levels. And all this is tied into obviously heart attacks and strokes. Now, the first thing that happens when we're not assimilating uh, sugar because insulin is not doing its complete job where it's trying to get to the receptor cells of the muscles or fat within the body, the glucose cannot absorb into the cells. So we start developing a condition called insulin resistance where uh, there's too much sugar, the insulin, the beta cells, islets of Langerhan continue to increase more insulin until eventually the pancreas gets burned out. So with the amount of people out there worldwide, about 8 billion people throughout the world, uh, I'm gonna say well over a billion, two billion of these people are insulin resistant. It's just a worldwide epidemic. And most of us don't realize we're insulin, we're insulin resistant until we start developing other symptoms, which could be too late in the game. But there is some great research out there how we can inhibit that insulin resistance, or in other words, make you more insulin sensitive so you don't develop diabetes and you keep your system obviously working at its maximum potential. But obviously diet plays a tremendous role. Exercise plays a tremendous role. But today, everyone's eating processed, refined foods, too much sugars, and uh, it's just destructing our system. So the first thing that I wanted to go into here, uh, some important things. Uh, there is a research article called Higher Omega-3 Index is Associated with Increased Insulin Sensitivity and More Favorable Metabolic Profile in Middle-Aged Overweight Men. Uh, there is research here that shows that those people and this research shows that those people who took omega-3s, uh, which is a polyunsaturated fatty acid, showed tremendous improvement in insulin resistance. And what they're tying into when it comes to insulin resistance is inflammation because omega-3s works with inflammation. Omega-3 prevents platelet aggregation. And if plaquing continues to get worse in those arteries, if it's going to the heart, that eventually can cause a heart attack. And if it's going to the brain, that would cause a stroke. But there's no doubt that we look at diabetes, we look at any type of disease in the body, it's all tied to inflammation. And if you can limit inflammation, you're going to prevent uh, many of these diseases from occurring within our body. So this is a huge breakthrough, knowing that increasing omega-3s will definitely increase insulin sensitivity. And by having uh, more uptake of glucose into the cells, we're going to have less potential problems in the future and metabolic problems that can lead to other significant diseases. Uh, here's some information I want to share with you. A Harvard University study found that omega-3 raises a hormone called adiponectin. And adiponectin increases insulin sensitivity. And so the researchers felt that it might help prevent or control type 2 diabetes. We already know that what it can do for insulin sensitivity, and there's a lot of research that still needs to be made when it comes to diabetes, one, diabetes two, uh, type one and two, but there are promising things that I can see today that in the future, I think many people will be surprised. Now, a little bit about omega-3s, the three kinds we have uh, in the fish oils we're looking at uh, primarily our EPAs, which is Ecosa pentanoic acid and our DHA, which is Dicosa hexanoic acid, which are mainly found in fish. Now, those people don't eat fish. There are other ways of getting it through krill oil, uh, as well as the third type is your ALAs, your alpha linolenic acid, which are found in plants, your walnuts, uh, your, your, your uh, flaxseed, et cetera. So the bottom line is we already know that omega-3 prevents the accumulation of platelets it inhibits inflammation, and it decreases clogging of the arteries. That's really important because everything, particularly when it comes to clogging of the arteries, is all directly tied into inflammation. Every disease is tied into inflammation. Every disease known to man, so regardless of what disease you have, you need to start getting on a diet that's 
anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory, that will do wonders for you. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is because of the fact that uh, there are a few different omegas, omega-3, 6s, and 9s, but omega-6s are whole grains, and people who eat too much refined uh, cereals or too many grains without getting enough omega-3 will have more inflammation. It's tied in, uh, the research shows that too much of that omega-6 that causes too much inflammation can lead to more particularly coronary artery disease, more inflammation of the arteries, which potentially can lead to more uh, blockage of blood circulation to those important organs like the heart or brain. Uh, understand that regardless that people talk so much about the past, about cholesterol. Now we know that the LDL cholesterol, low density lipid proteins are dangerous. Obviously that causes more placking. The HDL uh, finds those LDLs, bring them back to, and brings it back to the liver so it can be excreted from the body. But those people who have high uh, LDLs along with inflammation, remember when things start to become inflamed, as the LDLs go by, as well as calcium and other minerals in the body, they can start to stick and plaque. And as they stick and plaque, that placking starts to grow. So remember, it all boils down to inflammation. So if you are taking or, or you are eating a lot of omega-6s, which you can Google it and it can show you all the foods that you're eating, you are uh, having a potential risk of having inflammation in your body and actually cardiovascular disease. So here's the bottom line. You must get your omega-3s. And you're going to say, how much should we be getting? Uh, anywhere from 1,000 milligrams up to 3,000 milligrams a day, depending upon your condition. For those people who have uh, rheumatoid arthritis or other arthritic conditions or actually autoimmune problems, by upping the intake of omega-3 can reduce significant, uh, a significant amount of that inflammation and take away a lot of your pain. But your fatty fishes, your anchovies, your halibut, your herring, your mackerel, your oysters, salmon, sardines, trout are all good. Your nuts and seeds, your flax seed, your walnuts, your chia seeds, as well as your uh, plant uh, oils, which, you know, they talk about the flax seed, the soybean, the canola oil. I'm not really big on those, but there are other ways of getting or supplement it through krill or a omega-3 supplement. Um, so the bottom line is, is that you need to eat healthy. You need to cut down the sugars, eat more fiber, get some exercise. Uh, stay away from those refined foods, those box foods, those cereals. Uh, all that is no good. Uh, go more with the paleo, uh, the more Mediterranean, the more whole fruits with the fiber, the soluble fiber, the insoluble fiber. That will make a huge difference for your health, lowering your, your blood pressure, lowering your bad cholesterol, lowering your triglycerides. We know that omega-3s lowers triglycerides 100%. We know that, and it's proven the research is out there. So this is all about insulin resistance, making you more insulin sensitive. And remember, if you have, uh, if your sugar levels are up, your insulin levels are up, are up get on those omega-3s. I really may think it can be a huge asset for you. Uh, and again, do your homework, Google it, speak to your doctors. Um, again, I can't recommend it for anyone because I'm not your doctor, but I just want to lay the foundation out for you and see you, your family, loved ones healthy. Please share this video. I appreciate you. Uh, make it a great day and leave your comments below.